Bambucinum hits the sort of proliferation of cells, and whereas uh, the venetoclax rate, or ABT199 as it was known, uh, encourages the cells to apoptosis to undergo uh, programmed cell death. And, and in CLL, that's a really critical uh, pathway. So what we found initially in the first trials was that single agent uh, venetoclax led to really impressive responses. And, and now we're seeing uh, the emergence of combinations. So we always felt venetoclax would be an effective agent in combination with other therapies. Um, and we've had two studies reported at this meeting, one, one venetoclax with rituximab and one venetoclax with abinutuzumab. And both have shown, first of all, that it's well tolerated in combination. And secondly, that we're seeing some really impressive responses in terms of remissions and, and even uh, eradication of detectable disease, which, which you gen generally don't see with, with the b receptor antagonists. So it's, it's a different you know, quality of response that, that we're seeing. And, and one of the, I think, the most promising elements to that is that, that I, you know, ibrutinib, of the b receptor antagonists and venetoclax together would, would seem to be a you know, complementary and, and I think the excitement now is, is, is how do we combine small molecules and how do we move to, to eradicating disease and getting people off treatment.